Hi, this is Tripler Pell with Chalant Media. We're here today with local author, educator, and healer J.A. Carlton to talk about a couple of her upcoming releases. Hi, Jill. Thanks for coming out. Hey, Tripler. Thanks for having me. Now, I've got a lot of questions about your upcoming projects, but before we get into that, tell me a little about yourself. Okay. Um, I've been a massage therapist going on 24 years now. Uh, I'm a radiographer for, I graduated in, what, 2003, so that's uh, 12 years and I've um, been a chiropractic assistant for eight years, and I've been writing since I was about 12. You are also a hypnotherapist for about two years now, correct? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, two years. Uh, even when I was a kid, though, uh, with regards to the hypnotherapy, uh, I was always fascinated with the idea of uh, the subconscious and the unconscious mind and how we can utilize that to change what we want in our lives and kind of you know, make our lives more what we want them to be versus what other people wanted us to make them be. Do you use it? Uh, I do, both personally and with a few select clients. Uh, we'll talk more about that later, but let's get back to your upcoming projects. They're really at opposite ends of the spectrum, but from what I've seen of your body of work, you really don't stick to any genre, do you? No, I write what grips me. It doesn't really matter what the genre is. There's something else I've noticed following you on social media lately. Um, you recently started hashtagging a lot of your tweets with SPN and always keep fighting. So what's up with that? Uh, SPN is a shout out to the show Supernatural and its fandom. Uh, two of our local boys star in it, Jared Padalecki and Jensen Ackles. And it's actually because of them and their show that my Heroes of the Line series was born and really why I'm here to write it. What do you mean? Um, the show centers on a couple of brothers who travel around saving people and hunting things. Uh, it also um, takes us through a lot of the garbage that they go through and how, as brothers, they manage to get through it or not. It's what inspired me to give myself permission to get back into writing. So when did you get back into writing? Um, getting back into it probably about 10 years ago. Thanks to, again, Supernatural. Um, it was something I enjoyed doing when I was a kid. I started when I was about 12, but got a lot of criticism for it. Uh, teachers telling me things like, nobody's ever going to want to read something like that from a girl. And, you know, 15 years of uh, literally hundreds of form rejection letters. Eventually you start to get the point that what you have to say really doesn't have any validity. So I stopped writing for a long time, and it pretty much almost killed me. That sounds awful. It was horrible. It was one of the most self-destructive things I could have done. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not the only one who does it. But um, 10 years ago, now almost 11, along comes this awesome show with this incredible fan base full of people just like me, uh, other writers, vitters, sculptors, artists, artisans, quilters, and every single one of us was inspired by this show with these two guys. <laughs> Um, most importantly, though, we were encouraged by each other to do whatever it was that we loved. So that's when you started writing again. Yeah. And uh, here we are eight books later with numbers nine and ten about to be released and four more on the back burners waiting to be written. Very cool. 